curses and unclean spirits. Amen. Pharaoh lied and said he would release the people, so the curse of the frogs was removed. Sometimes we will experience releases and reprieves as we begin as we begin to walk in deliverance. You know, we tell God we're going to do it. If you if you help me, God, you deliver me. I'm going to walk this out. And sometimes we don't, right? Some, there's some people out there that they go for the same thing over and over and over. And as soon as they get that breakthrough and get that yoke rock and that oppression broken off, they go right back out in the world and do the same thing and forget all about God. Amen? Isn't that like Pharaoh? He said, take the curse off and, I, and I'll do what you say. But he didn't, right? Pharaoh lied. And he, he didn't do what he said he was going to do. So then Exodus 8, 16, the Lord said to Moses, said to Aaron, stretch out your rod and strike the dust of the ground. Strike the dust of the ground that may become biting gnats or mosquitoes throughout the land of Egypt. Aaron stretched forth his rod and struck the dust of the earth and gnats began to come forth. Again, what? The ground. The earth, right? Right? And even the livestock were stuck with, struck with plagues as they were eating and feeding out in the, in the, in the, in, out in the pastures. See? Everything come forth from the land. Because the DNA was affecting that land. And I, can, I, went, I went ahead and did all of them, but you, know, you, you probably know the story better than I do, so I'm not going to go through all of them. But God did decree a curse, a very force born in the land, from Pharaoh's son on down until the beast that remained. And he said that there should be a cry in the land as never before because Pharaoh would not give, give what give in to Moses and Aaron. And um, so we know what happened there, right? Every firstborn died. Instruction was given to the Israelites concerning Passover, what to do to prepare for that night. The death angel would pass over Egypt, bringing judgment by destroying all the firstborn in that land. They were to put blood over the doorposts, and the death angel would pass over. And the doorpost is a threshold, it's something entrance into something new. Amen? So they were to take a bunch of hyssop and dip it into blood. Hyssop is purification by faith. Symbol, the blood is symbol for all life of the flesh. And after that night, Pharaoh released them, and they had left with the silver and the gold. Moses said to them, Remember this day that you come out of Egypt, house of bondage and bondage. God told them that this day you will go forth in the month of Abib. Go forth to the promised land. Abib means springtime. Are we not in the springtime? Um, that was the time to come out. Was in the month of Abib, springtime. Which is the first month of God's year. This is Passover time. When Pharaoh changed his mind at the Red Sea, he was overtaken by his arm by by um what? The Red Sea, amen. And you know the song. They sang praises unto God for what he did. But see, the big thing is is that we need to get a grip on how important it is to allow God to change our mind. Because it affects much more than what we think. See, if we don't have that mindset change and that mind shift and that renewing and transforming of our mind and those thoughts of death and carnality and flesh removed and subjected to the Spirit of God, it's affecting our land. It's affecting our genetics. It's, a phys it's affecting us physically. Okay? So it affects a lot of things. It affects the move of God that God's trying to birth. Because it can become, our mindsets can become obstacles, amen? So we need to allow God to complete that work in our lives, amen? amen. amen. So if you stand, we'll just, we'll close. Uh -huh. My blood down here. My boys, their wives, my family, my sister, baby, all the prayers. Okay. Did you hear that, guys? Pastor Mike wants his family up here. And and really and truly, if you want to put, do you have some music? Can you just play that there? Do you have a CD? Because what I really, really, truly felt too, Pastor Mike, was that we needed to do some repentance. And allow true repentance. Allow a true change of our mind to take place. Not just an apology. But allow the Spirit of God to go in and change our mind. Because we're at a point that we need to repent, all of us, in any area of rebellion, any area that we've been resistant or stubborn to God, and not been pliable to what He wants to do in our lives. Because this can be an obstacle to the Spirit of God. 
in what he wants to accomplish. Amen? So if you will, I, I would ask you to take that time this morning. You can come up to the altars if you want to, right where you're at. But just take that time and, and allow that true repentance to happen in your heart. And allow God to change your mind. And ask Him to help you, not just apologize. But ask Him to change your mind in that area. So that you don't go back to it. Amen? Because I'm asking God to do that to me every day. An area that I need that change in my life in. Because I want to cultivate that mind of God in me. Amen? Amen? So Father, we just give you praise right now, God. We just give you praise right now, God. And God, I come before you right now, God. And I first, Father God, ask for the true work of repentance in my life. God, that that repentance will affect my mind and my mindsets, God. And that there will be a mind change where I need to have a mind change, God. God, I ask, Lord, that my very conduct will change in areas that it needs to change as a result of this true repentance in my life, God. God, I know, God, that repentance, Father, is also what opens the door for revival and awakening. So, God, I ask for true repentance in this house. That you, oh God, will change hearts, minds, and lives, Father, by your spirit, God. By your spirit, oh God. By your spirit. Oh God, I pray right now for the Sasser bloodline. I pray for everyone that is represented and I pray for the ones that are not represented here. That are attached and that are part of this bloodline. God, I ask, Father God, for the flow of God, for the breath of the Spirit, for the cleansing power of God to flow, for the river of God to flow, a cleansing stream to flow through this bloodline in the name of Jesus. God, I ask that every mindset, every stronghold, every thought and imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ Jesus to be pulled down in the name of Jesus. I ask for the very mind that is in Christ Jesus to be found in them, God. I ask, God, that you begin to shift their minds even today, that you begin to renew their minds even today, that you begin to transform their minds even today, God. I ask, oh God, that you put a burning hunger inside of their hearts, God, for you to pant after you like never before, oh God. God, begin to prepare their hearts and their lives like never before for the coming move of your spirit, oh God. God, I thank you, Lord, that these are ones, God, whose wells shall be turned to wine, God. These are ones, God, that will flow with signs, wonders, and miracles. These are one, God, that will go forth into the land and will compel those to come in that shall be saved. These are one, God, that's going to worship us into the throne room. These are one, God, that's going to see the heavens opened up over them, God. These are ones, God, that their very land is going to be, Father God, representing the very DNA of God. God, that it will produce life, that it will produce fruitfulness, that it will produce, Father God, seed of the kingdom of God. I declare that the kingdom of God comes to their land. I declare that the kingdom of God comes to their land. I declare right now that God is marrying their land, Father, and redeeming their land, Father, and that there will be fruitfulness, God, fruitfulness, God, that they won't toil and labor, God, and see the thorns and the thickets any longer, but they will see, Father God, the prosperity and the abundance and the overflow that's been promised them, Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I declare, Father God, that mind shift, Father God, from the heads down, God. God, any area, God, that's in their mind that needs to shift, I declare it to shift, God. Any area, God, that needs to be renewed and transformed, I declare it to be renewed and transformed. I declare that these waters, Father God, that's in her will, Father God, begin to bubble up, bubble up, bubble up. And even, Father God, let the waters be turned to wine, Father, in Jesus' name. I declare signs, wonders, and miracles to flow out of her land, to flow out of her land, to flow out of her land in Jesus' name. Yeah, yeah, you feel that. The signs, wonders, and miracles. The signs, wonders, and miracles. It's been a heart cry. It's been a heart cry. It's what you
you've been carrying is what you've been carrying, says God. You've been carrying that promise of signs, wonders, and miracles. You've been carrying it. You've been carrying it. You've been carrying it. And even today, I'm bringing forth the hope. I'm bringing forth the hope that you shall see with your own eyes. It's not just for the future generations, says God. But what you've been laboring and what you've been birthing is for it to be seen, even in your generation, says God. And yes, you shall. You shall flow. You shall flow in those waters, says God. Or ima karema shataya. Or ima baba baba hasoto. That's good. You need to push. You need to push. This is a push right here. Or ima baba baba hasakai. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or kore ima bebe 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 hasiki ya dororo 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 baba hasoto. Or kore ima ya 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 baba 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 hasoto dororo 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 baba And God, I speak over this bloodline that they will have a victorious mindset. A victorious mindset, God. That they will not feel defeated. They will not feel overlooked. God, I declare a victorious mindset over them, Father. In Jesus' name. God, I declare, Father God. The very mind of Christ to be developed in him, God. I declare, Father God, the very DNA of Christ to emerge, God. I declare the very kingdom of God that's in his midst to come forth this hour, God. I declare, Father God, signs, wonders, and miracles shall follow him, God. I declare, God, that you're going to use them as a witness to this younger generation, oh God. I declare, Father God, that you begin to burn in him like never before, God. Spirit of God, Spirit of God, Spirit of God, Spirit of God. I declare, Father God, over this marriage, God. I declare, Father God, that you do a new thing. You do a new thing in their home and in their marriage, God, and in their lives individually and together, God. I declare, Father God, the very mind of Christ, God. I declare, Lord God, that their land is blessed, God. I declare the very DNA of God to emerge. I declare the very kingdom of God to emerge. God, I declare a mind shift where a mind shift is needed, God. I declare every thought and imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ Jesus to be pulled down in Jesus' name. I declare the mind of Christ to be developed, God. I declare victory, God. Victory victory, victory in Jesus' name. The very DNA of God to emerge, God. I see her, God. I see her, God. She's been clothed in circumstances. She's been clothed in things, God. And you're beginning to take off the clothing, Father God, that you don't want her to be clothed in any longer, God. I thank you, Lord God, that there's a new person. There's a new woman of God that's going to be coming forth. There's a new revealing that's going to be coming forth. God, I thank you, Lord, for the glory of God that's going to be manifested through her, Father, in Jesus' name. Name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I declare the mind of God. I declare the DNA of God to come forth, the kingdom of God to come forth in Jesus' name. And their land is blessed. Their land is blessed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. God's calling all of y'all forth. God's calling all y'all forth. Just like I told your mama last time I was here. I'm telling you, God is calling all of you forth. I know y'all are busy and doing things, but I see God calling you forth to a new level. He's calling you forth to demonstrate His kingdom. He's calling you forth to demonstrate His power. He's going to challenge you in some areas because I think some of y'all have gotten in this little box about what you do when you get here, but there's some challenge that's going to come because God wants you to extend your borders. He wants to expand you in the spirit. He wants you to operate in His kingdom authority. He wants you to operate in this supernatural power. He wants you to be that witness. Amen? Amen? So get ready because God's going to stretch you. Amen? Amen? Father, I just thank you, Lord God, that this couple, God, is anointed and appointed, God. And I declare the land is blessed, God. I declare it will no longer produce thorns and thistles, God. I declare, Father God, that the kingdom of God come forth in their midst. I declare the very DNA of God to come forth. I declare, Father God, that the same mind that is in Christ Jesus shall be in them, God. And I declare that DNA of God will even affect their land, God. I declare, God, that you are marrying their land this hour, oh God. And I declare that the waters that 
that flow from them will as well be turned to wine, Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And God, I pray for Pastor Mike. And I pray for his grandbaby, God. And I thank you, Lord God, that their land is blessed in the name of Jesus. I declare the blessings of God are overtaking every curse. I declare that the DNA of God is coming forth in their life and is impacting their very land, God. I declare that there's going to be change that's going to manifest in the natural. I declare an overflow and abundance that's been prophesied and spoken over him begins to manifest, God. I declare the very mind of God, the very mind of Christ to emerge like never before, God. I declare signs, wonders, and miracles is his fortune, God. I declare that the waters, the waters begin to turn to wine, oh God. I declare, Father God, he's on a cutting edge, God. And then they are birthing this thing out, God. And they're going, Father God, where not many people allow your spirit to lead them, God. But God, you're leading and you're guiding and you're directing, God. And their footsteps are ordered of you, God. And so I thank you for this shift. I thank you, Father God, for this mindset shift, God, in this house, God. I declare that the very mind of God is emerging like never before in a way that is going to change and alter genes. It's going to bring forth healing in bodies. And it's going to bring forth the prosperity in the land. I declare, God, that you are marrying this land. You are marrying this land, God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We give you praise, God. We give you praise.